Welcome to DIY Easy Crafts. Today we're going to take a look at how to easily fix drilled holes through fiberglass. Now this is a project boat that I bought. It's a Carolina Skiff J16 um, and it you know looked good but if you look close there was just a, a ton of holes drilled through the hull, a ton of extra holes. Uh, every cleat had extra drill holes underneath it. Uh, there were multiple holes through the gunnel. Um, you know, he mounted the previous owner mounted his rod holders by drilling through the sides. Um, so anyway, just a couple of people asked me how I fixed all of those holes when I was redoing the project, and it's a quick seven-step process. You you first sand or grind uh, the area sur immediately surrounding each of the holes, just to rough it up a little bit. I like to use a chamfering tool on a drill and just add a little bit of a chamfer. Uh, to both sides if you can access both sides. That's going to allow the fiberglass putty just to uh, bind a little bit better and, and adhere a little bit better, kind of give it a flange. The next step is to wipe down the area with acetone. That eliminates any grease, also gets rid of the wax, it allows you to, uh, you know, the fiberglass putty to adhere to it nicely. We're going to use a fiberglass putty um, you can use Gorilla Hair, you can use uh, Bondo. I happen to like the Bondo. Um, it's, you got to get the right one. You have to get the one made for fiberglass. It's got fiberglass strands in it. And you want to apply it to the hole and actually push putty into the hole. You really want that putty to go all the way through until it comes out the other side. And then coat it so that, and you kind of leave it proud, leave it overflowing a little bit. Same thing to the other side. And then that actually dries very quickly. So within an hour, uh, you'll be able to sand that. I just use uh, this particular project is a Carolina skiff. It's very rough fiberglass. It's not, uh, you know, a mirror finish. I just use the number 80 grit paper. Uh, but if you were going to finish this uh, a little bit better, you could go down to a 220. But you know, before you gel coated it, and then after you gel coated, you could wet sand and then gel coat again. But you, I, for this project. 80 grit is fine. I'm going to get this smooth so that all the edges are, are nice and flush. Then I'm going to wipe it down. Step six is just wipe it down again with acetone, getting it ready for the gel coat. And the final step is just going to be to gel coat it. Now for this little repair, this is just an extra seat uh, for that Carolina skiff. Um, I just gel coated with a brush, uh, but you could use a roller, get a little bit of a better finish, uh, you know, any, anything you like. So I'm going to I'm going to show you again. So this is actually repairing uh, the hull on that Carolina skiff. I just went around. I used a, a four and a half inch disc grinder with a flop sanding wheel. I ground you know, all of the areas, all of the little holes. Then I went with my chamfering tool and you know chamfered each side. Then I mixed up the fiberglass putty. I do this in small batches. Um, you know, it, this stuff dries pretty quickly, so you, you, don't, you don't want to mix too much and waste it if you, you know, if you can't utilize it in time. You really want to press that putty into the hole, as I mentioned before, and, and hopefully you'll see it sticking right out the bottom of the holes. That way you know that the void is completely, you know, completely filled. And this stuff actually sands, you know, pretty easily. So after it's dry, sand it off. Now I'm going to cover, um, I, I re-gel coated this whole boat, the top deck as well as the hull, and I just did it with a roller, uh, and I'll go through that on a separate video. Um, very easy process, but this is the finished result. So I've covered, I've filled in and repaired all of the holes uh, through the top of the gunnel as well as the, uh, the, the sides of the boat, and I've uh, re-gel coated over those. I hope you enjoyed this short little video. Uh, if you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'd like to give you an invite to join us um, or check, out, check us out on our, on our website, DIYEasyCrafts.com. We've got a bunch of nautical and boating related do-it-yourself projects. Thank you very much for watching.